Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Urmesha Patel and today in this video I'm going to show you how to add a hyperlink in tooltip. Now the method that I'm going to show, you can use it for both static as well as dynamic URLs. As you can see, I have created this heat map based on some wastages on UK beaches. So these are some wastages, the items that they had in this data source and their respective percentage. So uh, this is the number per 100 meter of beach. So in every 100 meter, what exactly the uh, wastage is they found? So uh, what they really found is the plastic that they have the maximum, which is 45.6 percent. Rest is some packages, then some glasses, uh, then cigarette stubs and all that. So let's have a hyperlink in the tooltip that is a dynamic one. So whenever I hover and click on some uh, so a specific menu that shows me a kind of a hyperlink. So when I click on it, it get me some Wikipedia of that item. So let's say if I click on this glass, I'll, I, that hyperlink take me to the Wikipedia of glass. Similarly for the fishing line. So let's create such kind of a hyperlink and add to our tooltip. So for this, here in this menu, go to the dashboard. So on that, click on this actions. Now to add a hyperlink, you need to click on this add action and from there select this go to URL because we want a hyperlink to add over here. I'll name this hyperlink as UK beaches wastages and to select the source sheet, uh, uh, this is the by default it sets for the wastages. This is what exactly the sheet that I have created. Uh, for this uh, heat map to run that action on there is three options hover select and menu hover is like whenever you hover to that uh, you know specific uh, field or the item that directly take you to that particular url of so we don't want that hover options it is not ideally good for any url actions Similarly, for the select, it's like when you select, it directly takes you. But we want something to add on along with our, uh, you know, hyperlinks in our tooltip. So better not to go with the select. Uh, so I prefer going with this menu and it's always works. Uh, uh, and ideally, you should use it as a, as a menu because for the URL actions. And we are not just sticking with the actions. We are also, uh, you know, adding uh, that related information, uh, which is there in our tooltip so better choose this menu so i'm going to select here as a run action as menu only now the url target so uh, where this url will take you so there is two option how you want it actually so a new browser tab whenever you click that url or a hyperlink or you want that new tab if the no web page ob object exists so i would say new tab if no web page object exists not all the time the new browser tab so we'll go with this default one and for the URL, I'll go uh, with the Wikipedia. You can use uh, whichever URL you want to set here, but I will just go with this Wikipedia one. Now to make this URL dynamic, this is right now as a static, but you want to add that URL that every time whenever you click on any of the item, the, the item that you select, that specific item should shown in this Wikipedia. So for that, here after this slash uh, I'll click on this insert and I'll insert that specific field which gives uh, the details of what exactly the item you want to see so as you can see this is giving you some kind of an idea that how it goes so uh, for the caps and lead so at the end it will adds with the caps and leads these are actually the item the wastages that we had here like uh, cigarette stubs and all that and yeah that's it click on ok so this is our action has been created now again click on ok and yes whenever you select let's say you want to see for the glass so click on this glass you will see UK beaches wastages you can also select over here it will give you that UK beaches wastages click on this and this will take you to the Wikipedia of glass so Similarly, if you want to see something for the wet wipes, then again, so this uh, tooltip is also giving you the idea of what exactly the wet wipes are and the number of, uh, per 100 meter of beach. So this is also give you the information. At the end, it gives you 
the hyperlink so this is actually the menu that is the run action that we have selected so uk widgets will now take you to the wet wipes and it gives you the idea of what exactly the wet wipes are so that's how in a few simple clicks you can have this uh, hyperlink in your tooltip which is add on more creativity at the same time more usefulness for the business users i hope you like this video if you really like then do like share and subscribe to my channel for more such videos till then happy learning